I was riding on the subway the other day, and let me tell y'all, I, I take Jeffrey because I'm you're showing him how to ride the train. And um, I heard some kids, they had the filthiest mouths. Um, if y'all heard these kids, I couldn't believe what they were saying. It was F this, F that. Mother F. I mean, I was literally, I, I didn't have pearls, but I was clutching them. <laughs> because when I was growing up, you know, we couldn't say anything like that in the presence of adults. Like, we, we did it with our friends. And it was so many words uh, that they were saying that it's so funny, they're totally fine now. But when I was growing up, we couldn't say them. Like, remember, remember you couldn't say G or gosh? <laughs> my mother would say, it's too close to God. Don't, don't. <laughs> You couldn't say, oh my God, no. Uh, she said, it sounds like you're taking the Lord's name in vain. And so actress Natasha Rothwell, she was the same way. Now, you know Natasha is Issa Rae's friend on Insecure. And um, she has her own show, which is so funny, on Hulu called How to Die Alone. And she's bringing this, the TikTok, the story of the TikTok sensation, Risa Tisa, she's bringing that to the screen. And she's gonna star in it and executive produce it. Now, Natasha said that she grew up super religious and she went on Nicole Byer and Sashir Zamata show, uh, podcast. And she said she was so religious, she couldn't even say deviled eggs. Take a look. <laughs> So I grew up super religious and my mom refused to call deviled eggs, deviled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up calling them angel eggs. Oh. And it was when I was like at some sort of like school, like field day race or whatever. Uh -huh. And there were deviled eggs. I remember asking for an angel <laughs> egg. Oh no. And they're like, what? What? And I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't, I never said anything. That's I never said anything. So Mortified. Funny. Yeah, she set yeah. you up. That's not she nice. She set me That's up. It, you know, it's so funny looking at this. When I was looking at this, there were so many words that we couldn't say back there. Remember, you couldn't say the word lie. You couldn't say lie. You had to say telling a story. God forbid if you said shut up. Ooh, no. Shut up was considered rude. rude. You had to say be quiet. We couldn't say I swear because swear was a swear word. And if, and if you remember this, y'all, if an adult called you when you were a child, you could not say what. <laughs> you couldn't say what. If my mama called me in the house and said, Sherry, and I said, what? All I heard was thumping up the stairs. <laughs> if an adult called your name, you had to walk all the way in the room to where they were, and you had to say, yes, ma'am. That's what you had to, and all they would say was, hand me the remote. That's... My mama was good for that one. I'm telling you, hey, yeah. go get me something to drink. Get my cigarettes, it, you know. <laughs> it was never casual with my parents. Tone was everything. To this day, I don't let Jeffrey say what. It's triggering for me when I say <laughs> And you remember, you could not ask your parents, but why? Because what would your parents say? Because I said so. So, Natasha Rothwell, I totally understand you. They gave us so many rules, but we turned out all right, Natasha. We turned out. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time.